Welcome back everybody, how we doing today? We've been out the farm here today shooting a little bit and uh, want to talk today about the Savage Model 10 Precision Carbine. Wonderful rifle, full round detachable box. It's got the tactical bolt handle which is real easy to get to in the prone. Got a tank style safety which uh, most of you come to love with the Savage rifle. Um, it's got the AccuTrigger which is adjustable down to very lightweight, I think around a pound and a half. From the factory, they probably come set around three and a half to four pounds, which is going to be pretty standard for a rifle of this type. We have a 20 inch barrel with a one in 10 twist. Of course, it's fluted. We will show a few close ups of the rifle before we get to the shooting. It, do, it does have a threaded muzzle for a suppressor. Okay. We've got a nice Harris Versapod installed on it. The scope that we're using is a Barska SWAT 8 to 32 by 44. So we're going to shoot this gun 440 yards and see how she does. The ammo that we're going to be firing today is just regular old 150 grain PMC. Cheap stuff. Let's see how it does. Side of the plate. You're in, right side of the plate. Off to the right, two inches. Got you. A little bit awkward to load the mags, not too bad. Yeah, it's like a handgun magazine. It is. Interesting. Dead center. shot. I'm real happy with the Savage Model 10. Um, so far it's a great gun. I've, I've really been happy with it. With the bit of shooting I've gotten to do with it. There's really nothing I would improve about it other than the magazine. I'm not a big fan of the uh, magazine system. I would really prefer a 10 round detachable box, not unlike the Ruger gun sight or scout rifle that they have in the 308. If they can make this gun here take something like an FAL mag or maybe even M1A mag, I think they'd have something real special because I think that's really more the norm for today's situations. It's really nice to have a high cap bolt action, especially something as accurate as this. These guns are uh, supposed to be MOA capable or sub MOA capable out of the box. We didn't have a chance to group it today. But from the preliminary work that we did with it, it's very accurate out to 400 meters. I can uh, guess that it would do much better with a little more uh, fine tuning and a little hand loading.